Welcome back, everybody. This is Giraffe Dragon here, bringing you another episode of Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. Last time, we started Chapter Four and we got through the entire forest area. This time, we're going to be going into the castle itself, the steeple itself. By the way, we have a brand new enemy with us here. <clears throat> Buzzy Beetles. That's a Buzzy Beetle. Aw, it's kind of cute. HP 5, attack 3, defense 4. It's got pretty good defense, and fire and explosions won't hurt it whatsoever. But if you jump on it, you can flip it over and drop its defense down to 0. Then it, then it's at your mercy. Ha! Don't hesitate. Jump, 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 jump. Funny thing is, is that is that red is that red spiky bee buzzy beetles are just called spike tops. But funnily enough, the blue variants are just called blue spiky buzzy beetles. Ah. Well, at least hopefully. Ah. Okay. This will at least save me some time. Spike Top. It's a Buzzy Beetle with a spike on its back. HP 5, attack 3, defense 4. Like other Buzzy Beetles, fire explosions have absolutely no effect on it. But you can flip but you can flip it over to drop its defense to zero. I'm sure you know this already, but try not to jump on it. That spike hurts. This is why I want to make sure that I had Quake Bad Quit. And something that I've learned is that if your is that if your audience is asleep. Is that if your audience is asleep and you use Quake Hammer, it it automatically wakes them up. So that's pretty good. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I was kind of caught into a bunch of. I was kind of caught into like about three or so fights. Because that room is a bit scary because it's like five enemies just rushed towards you. And then most of them will first strike you. I would suggest having the chill out badge, but I don't have that with me at the moment. Anyways, jump here, you'll find a just a random jump block. Starkey's there, and you can act you can go ahead and open the gate there. That way you don't have to go Um What you guys saw there a second ago was something that has happened before. Where Gumbella just sort of floats in off into the air above. Like, that's happened before. Anyways, you roll into this area over here, you got yourself a star piece, a shine sprite, an ice smash, and and a very special book. An old cookbook penned by Ma by Maitre de Leach. That's related to a that's related to a trouble center thing for later. This is the only time this ever happens. We can prepare for stuff in advance as far as that. My friends have all been taken away. So lonely. He'll block both doorways, and you can't, and you can't get past that way. So, gotta find this little area over here. And we see we have a little panel that we can sort of blow out. And we come all, all the way over here. We will find a flower saver. It drops the amount of FP that Mario uses by one. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. Anyways, I wanna take this off real quick. And I guess equip that. That's really about it for the time being. We find ourselves with a little box over here. Try to open this door, it's locked from the inside. So, the only thing that we can do is open this box. <laughs> okay, it's time. It's quiz time, Mental Loper. Just now when the box opened, how many of us booze came out total? The answer is always 200. And your reward for this is an Ultra Shroom. I don't know the other rewards, but I'll put that in the description below. 
Anyway, so I guess we have nowhere else to go except straight back up again. And by the way, that area, that part of when Lagoon Bella just sort of flew off into the distance, that has happened before, and I and I kind of wish I had a recording of that. Are you going to be mean to me? No. Promise? Oh, come on out, guys. Now, the thing with these boosts is that they're basically going in a sort of tornado and, and stuff like that, and they'll try to swarm you and try to take you into the area above. So basically, all you gotta do is spin hammer them about three times or so, and this will happen. <laughs> you said you'd be nice. Let's get him, guys. Yeah! Surprise boss fight! This is the second of three optional bosses. Okay. Atomic Boo. That's, a, that's an Atomic Boo. It's a boo made up of a ton of small boos. HP 40, attack 4, defend 0. This thing will try to smush us. It can also spit it, split up and send hundreds of boos at us. And when, and when we we attack, we might get so scared that we get confused or can't move. I sure wouldn't want to see this thing stand behind me in the middle of the night. <laughs> By the way, the audience will always be packed full of booze. Anyways, uh, guess I might as well charge. Okay. Uh, guess walk to Jack, that would be nice. Oh, no. Oh. Um, I might as well use power to show this off. This is a really good move. It's really useful for boss fights. Blue arrows are defense, so orange arrows are attack. Oh no. Uh, wasn't that great? Because if you're really good, you could get like four in each. <gasps> my boy! My lead! Coming in for the clutch! <laughs> my lead was also a. I <laughs> one and one attack set. I did that. Okay. When I did a previous recording, Merle doubled the amount of experience that I earned and gave me 40 instead. That was it was really cool when that happened. Now, I might as well just use this mushroom on Mario. That'll heal me up quite nicely. And then swap back over to Dumbella. Because, oh boy, we still have more enemies to go over. I'm surprised that actually connected. Anyways, oh, this is really convenient. This is a, these are swoopers. But uh, first I'm going to tap, tattle booze. Because this is actually a rare chance of having, because usually you won't encounter booze that easily. It's everybody's favorite ghost, well, most everyone. HP 7, attack 3, defend 0. It's not the direct home on its attack side, but it can turn invisible. If it turns invisible, we won't be able to hit it, so beat it while you can see it. Those are kind of cute, but I sure wouldn't want, want to meet one in a dark alley. If I ran into one in the bathroom in the middle of the night, I'd... Well, never mind you. <laughs> well, never you mind what I do. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. <laughs> I wonder what record that was. I might have to do that. Count that in post editing. Ow. Anyways, swoopers. We could technically encounter these in chapter three, but we got to lose a lot of fights to do so. I bet they call. I bet they call it that because of the way it swoops around. Wow, that's some awesome name work. Seriously, it's pure name genius. 
So anyway, max HP 6, attack 3, defense 0. It says here it hangs from the ceiling. If you can just damage it, it ought to drop off the ceiling, and then you can whack it. So, yeah, pretty strong enemy, huh? <sighs> and since we, because of booze, rarely, will rarely ever pop up. Like, this is a kind of a... Anyways, booze are kind of rare encounters in these hallway areas. So, and I was actually planning on doing the catalog for the booze in the main area because once you defeat Atomic Boo, regular booze will stop popping up, start popping up. By the way, what the Lucky Star Badge does is that it makes something good happen when you first enter battle. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. And, yeah, I think I'll just keep on everything I've got at the moment. Anyway, we hit that block there, and initially that stairway case would be in the middle, but since we hit the block over this way, it has moved. And as I stated, booze will start popping up, will start popping up on the ground floor as well as up here. So in case you need to find booze and you're having a hard time actually trying to get them, this is an easy way to do it. For a long time, I didn't really know that you could, like, fight booze until I ran into the reskins later on in the game. <laughs> yeah, reskins. Anyways, we pick that key up. Then all we gotta do is come over this way. Move a little faster, guys. Oh, there we go. And then, then we want to hit this switch twice. And by the way, you're locked into this. You're locked into this. You can't like move around or anything. Because granted, if you could, it might have screw, might screw up the dialogue or something if you fight an enemy while in the middle of it. Speaking of which. Anyways, that that enemy right there is in a bit of a jerkish spot, and if you see here, we can actually turn turn sideways and come over this way. And we see this odd colored tree trunk. You hit it, and we're given the golden leaf. It replenishes 10 FP. If you if we cook that, we'll get something called the zesty tea, or basically just like a, a special tea, and that'll end up doing it, and that'll heal twice as much. So, 20 FP. It, it ended up becoming one of my go-to cooking items to do. Anyways, yeah, we're looking pretty good at the moment. Huh, look at this painting here. Bit of an odd thing to have a painting of. I'm thinking of a duplicate ghost. Anyways, we got the steep key here. Go through over here. And, uh, who needs the heals more? Jack kind of needs the heals just a little bit more, but we're going to swap back over to Goombella because, well, we do need to tattle, tattle the next enemy. A long, winding staircase. It's almost like we're climbing to insanity or something. Hey, hang on there, Slick! What are you doing interrupting my me time? This is the monster the mayor was talking about? You gotta be kidding me. Who are you calling the monster? What's your problem? Why do you need to pick a fight? I'm busy thinking of a new pranks and stuff. It's not easy either. Now get lost. Of course you guys won't. No way you ninnies go away quietly, am I right? Well, all right then, Slick. Fine, yes, I turned the villagers into pigs. Big deal! Big deal? You're a big jerk. Why would you do something like that? Well... You know, they're all so depressing and boring and dead all the time. So instead of wallowing in gloom, I figure they might as well wallow in mud. Ha! Now they're pigs, get it? Isn't that just so perfect? It's like irony or something. So what? You got a problem with that? I guess you do. So let's play, Slick. This is our boss fight. Question marks? We don't have a name on this guy? Question mark, question mark, question mark? Wow, how totally bizarre. This thing isn't listed in here. There's a monster in here that looks like this thing, but it doesn't list a name. HP is 40, attack 4, defense 0. 
same stance as the, as the atomic boom. It's apparently really good at transforming itself into other things. Maybe it used that power to turn the villagers into pigs. This thing is a real jerk. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I guess I'll get down and dirty if you're gonna play like that, Slick. Wow, guess he's not a fan of setup, huh? Ow. Ow, I meant to do something a little different. Okay. Charge! <sighs> okay. Might as well make him a bit, make him a bit more manageable. What? 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 <laughs> Look at him now. Can't do anything. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll appeal. Trying to regroup here. So you think you're a couple of heavies, huh? Well, my, then, my dear friends, if you thought changing folks into pigs was impressive, then you're gonna love this. I've got something very special for you here. And in case you're curious, you can't finish this boss out quickly. Because if you take him down to zero, he'll then just regain like 10 HP. How do you like them, Apple? Now that's magic, people. Now you're fighting yourself. Ha! I'm a dang genius! Wait, he he got he got more health anyways, oh well. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Time to get shit on. <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. Hold on. What? What? Huh? You beat me? He finds that so surprising. Well, what do you know? We won! But that doesn't seem a whole lot. Huh. Because usually when we beat a boss, we get 30. Eh, it might just be my imagination. Um... I think HP is most important at the moment. I think that's what I need. Something's definitely wrong. You got a crystal star! Everything's back to normal now! Guess that must have just been a glitch in the programming, I guess. End of chapter! Well, you know, this was one of those really easy chapters. I didn't even have to cut out cut out that many that much stuff. Mario defeated the screw the scourge of creepy steeple and found the fourth crystal star. The people of Twilight Town have, sur have surely recovered from their awful curse by now. At this rate, Mario's quest to collect all seven crystal stars will be done in no time. With his pack to creepy steeple, Mario sets out towards his bright future. Uh, sure. After all, we gotta, we gotta do something. That's it? That's all you got? Man, this guy is a wimp. That wasn't even fair. Well, who cares, right? We got the crystal star, so let's get out of here. Well, not every boss could be a winner. Uh, is did the game crash? What? We've been smackledorfed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry if I was trying to be coy about it and not at all succeeding. It's just that was such a big shock to me when that happened. When when I saw that happen the first time. Now, what should I do? Everything else is pretty well off. I guess I'll have add this on. Make something good happen when you enter, when you first enter battle. Hopefully that won't have to happen too much. But if you think about it, we have to go all the way back through the forest area. Oh boy, that is going to suck. And by the way, we have no one with us. We have no one in our party. It's just us. We're by ourselves. We have no one here to help us. This is honestly 
When I first played this game, this was such a big shocker. I've been turned into a shadow. What do I do? <laughs> yes! This time we'll take that Mario and get his map! With this super bomb bomb here, there's no way we can fail. No, not likely. Good. Vivian, hand me that glorious super bomb bomb! Huh? Vivian, don't you dare. Does that huh mean what I think it does? I I never had it. You were just you were holding it just two seconds ago. You said it was too important to trust me with. Oh, you terrible liar! Stop making up stories to cover for yourself. If I don't have it, then obviously you must have it, and obviously you lost it. Or are you trying to imply that I lost it, you little long gagging worm? I no, of course not, Belden. Well, we can't do much without it now, can we? Oh, you are such an idiot! Very well. I'm sure you must have dropped it around here somewhere. So why don't you look for it while Marilyn and I go for a well and siesta? And if you don't find it, well, you know what'll happen, don't you? I... I get punished. That's right, you little twit! So get cracking! Come, Marilyn. Let's leave this little... this useless little fool to her charm. Go hook. Wow. What an abusive development. Anyways, unless we run into that enemy that I was talking about, I'm gonna meet you guys there. Cut. <gasps> okay! This is the enemy I was talking about, and the one I'm so afraid of. This is an amazing hazy. Oh, 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 I'm a little, I'm a little worried here. Okay. Okay. This is your big EXP earner. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to sort of cut in here for a sec. What that was, was an amazing daisy. It's your big EXP earner. It has 20 HP, 1 defense, 20 attack. It tends to run away the first turn, but if it doesn't, it's going to be a hard-hitting move. So hard that I would die in one hit. Anyways, cut. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you! Yeah, you're Mario, right? What a great name! And I really dig the body too, man. I can jump now. And hey, you're so popular around here. I get mobbed. I just love being you. Yeah, it's so cool, I don't think I ever want to stop. So you figured it out by now, right, Slick? Your body and name belong to me now. See, I've got the power to change my shape into anybody, anyone I want. It comes in handy. But to really be someone, I need to take their name and body too. Which means you turn into a shadow and can't use your name. Tough break, Slick. And that's not enough either. I aim to erase you for good. I guess it'd be unsporting to ruin you without a challenge, so I'll give you one chance. If you guess my real name, then I'll give back your name and body. What do you say, Slick? This'll be fun, right? Now guess, what's my name? Hit me with your best shot. If you guys can already see, we're missing a letter, an important letter in his name. So we literally can't do anything about this. Ragamadoo, little nobody? Who named the kid that? Prepare for doom, Slick. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I don't even think about running from battle. Here, no running! And uh, just so you know, you have to run away. <laughs> There's no two ways about this. You have to run. <laughs> because you can't damage him and he can't damage you. Aww, that's no fun. So I guess if you're low on star power and you want to heal yourself up in that category, you can just sort of stay there and appeal a whole lot. Anyways, I might as well want to go ahead and stop at the shop because your inventory is still available to you. And uh, what I want to do here is I want to put away the ultra... 
the Ultra Shroom. That's your store. I want to store the Ultra Shroom. And that'll be it. Then I'm going to grab this. And then also get the Ice Storm as a result. And yeah, then that'll be good. That'll work for a little bit. We got a full inventory. That should help. At least I got three revives in case I need it. And yeah, those three piggies were the, the Charlie Sisters three. Let's check up on this family. Thanks to Mario, our village is back to normal at last. If you see Mario, you should thank him too. Mommy, I mean, I'm hungry, pork chops. <laughs> that kid's still thinking about food. <laughs> What'll I do? What'll I do? Poor me. Yeah. Basically, it's just sort of like, honestly, at this point, I kind of feel bad for her. And we already know what she's looking for, and it's always in the same bush. The Super Bomb Bomb. Was, won't Vivian be punished if she doesn't find this? I mean, at this point, I don't mind teaming up with the villains if it means I get my body back. Oh, oh, thank you very much. Thank goodness, at least I won't get punished now. Oh no! It's it's broken. It must have broken when my sister when my sister dropped it. What will I do? What will I do? I guess it's just meant for me. I guess I was just meant to be punished for a life. Hey, don't feel bad. Here, let me fix it. Aw, oh, don't bother trying. It's really busted. What will I do now, huh? My sister will be back in a minute now. But I do appreciate your offer. Thank you. Hey, wait just a second. What's your name anyway? Won't you tell me? My name is... <laughs> what? I can't hear you. Your name was stolen? I see. Well, I guess that happens from time to time. Wait, no it doesn't. Your name was stolen? That's absolutely crazy. Gee whiz, you, must, you have way worse problems than I do. And you weren't worried about me the whole time. That's so kind. All right, that's it. I'm going to help you get back your name, and your body, and your friends. <coughs> hey, that's okay. I'm, don't worry about my problems. I'm not sure I really want to stay with my sisters anymore anyway. And I feel like I need to repay your earlier kindness. It's the right thing to do. So, yeah. We have a, a temporary partner, Vivian of the Shadow Sirens. Vivian is, later on, one of the best partners, hands down. Press X to have Vivian pull Mario into the Shadow Realm, where they can hide. And, you know, like, you know, lose their soul in the process, and all that other creepy stuff that happens in Yu-Gi-Oh. When hiding in the shadows, press X to re-emerge. In battle, Vivian can set enemies on fire with her Shade Fist. Or she and Mario could hide in the shadows to avoid damage with her veil move. So in a in a chapter where we lose all of our partners and we only have one person to have available with us, someone to help hide us from enemies is actually very welcome. Because fighting through that forest area, it's a big pain. And basically, she she, she just suggests to to ask around with the birds. Basically, what you do here is that you just sort of hide in the shadows right under them. So I chatted with Ratbeak in Mushroom Town in an instant messenger yesterday. And he said he just got a fiber optic on his home network. Can you believe that? Man, I bet he's downloading 100 meg apps with no problems on those fat pipes. <laughs> he's probably surfing that feather club for crow's side at the speed of light now. Yeah, it just blew my mind at this information age hype you hear about. And yet it's all games and feather lost sites that are driving the technology. Yeah, but I think tech bus survivors can thrive if they get viable business models. They each have some sort of funny dialogue to say, and since we're in this sort of situation, what happens if we go down the pipe? For some reason, we can't enter the pipe. This is because of the fact, if you remember what Darkly said, in order to enter the pipe, you need to have your name written on a piece of clothing. But here's the thing, we lost our name. We don't have a name anymore. So at this point, it's literally just, we have to go there and do it. Oh. There's something I want to show you guys real quick. It's something that pissed me off the first time I played this game. If you enter the mayor's house, look at all these people here. 
The whole party. Well, thank you, thank you. We owe you so much, Mario. Please take this as a token of our thanks. Eat up. Motherfucker, taking all my praise, taking all my hard work. Screw you! <laughs> now, who might you be? I don't remember inviting any shadows in my house. Sorry, but Mario is visiting today. If you don't need anything, please leave. You, huh? You know how there aren't many shadows at Twilight? Take a hint. Fuck you, fuck your town, fuck your life, fuck your house. Fuck all y'all. Hey, yeah, ha, whoa, hee, wah. Look at me, look at me. It's a me, Mario. Wah, <laughs> Boy, Mario, you sure got chatty all of a sudden. I mean, like, you never talk. Oh, well, I guess it's not totally weak or anything. Um, uh, Mario, you seem kind of different. I mean, you're sort of like the life of the party now, so I guess that's cool. Uh, Gonzalez, what's up with you lately? You're kind of freaking me out. I mean, I'm over acting like a complete loon, but it's not exactly in your character. <laughs> I love that. Even the even the baby Yoshi knows this. My, 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 Mario, you're rather dramatic of, of late, aren't you? To be honest, dear, I rather enjoyed your quiet dignity and strength of character. Really? I thought you just enjoyed the quiet of the pocket because, let's face it, I don't use you ever. <laughs> and, yeah, I think we've got enough time to go back to go back to Creepy Steeple because, in case you're curious, you don't actually have to find the birds that tell you as to how to find his name. It's this tree right here, but you don't actually have to activate that in order to, in order to do it. You just have to head to Creepy Steeple and, and fulfill what you need to do. Hey, what's up, Slip? Been waiting for you. I would have done this back in town, but that would have been wouldn't have looked very good, would it? If you're wondering as to why Vivian doesn't seem to recognize Mario, well, for one thing, Mario is acting very uncanny. He's not looking himself. So this is the one who stole your name and body. Hmm, he looks sort of familiar to me. All right, can the chatter. Here's the deal: you get your chance, then I stomp you. If you guess my real name, then you get your name, your body, and name back. Fire away, no name. Hmm. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where's the K? Ah, here we go. There we go. Baka. Random to do, little nobody. Who named the kid that for Pat for Jim Slick? And don't even think about running from battle. And don't worry, you you just have gotta run. <laughs> Aw, that's no fun. You must have been hiding there in ambush to wait for for you to show up. Well forget him. Let's go get your name back. Restoration going on, and the opponent is frozen. Real nice game. Anyways, cut again. I made some like corn there. Anyways, guys, we're back. So, what you want to do here is that you need to come down this way and go into that room of scary buzzy beetles. And then try to dodge this. <sighs> Anyways, guys, I'm back. I ended up fighting like three or so opponents. Anyways, what you gotta do here is just use the veil. <sighs> I fought like, cause like if you get hit by one, you're gonna get hit by like another three or so. Pick yourself up another free shines right, right there, dig it gong. This is pretty sweet. And then, uh, is there one right here? No, there isn't. Just figured I'd check to see if there was uh, another one of those, like, hidden star pieces, because I know there's one right here. So, let's go on down into this room. 
The room that we couldn't get into before. We got a pair here. Good morning, good morning. Let's see here. Power Plus, which is pretty nice for Mario. Uh, Mr. Softener. Softener is worthless to me just about. A steeple key. The letter P. <laughs> now we can actually do the name. But first we need to find out the name. Scroft, what happened to those weirdos who are here? Ah, whatever. It was almost nice to have some company. I mean, no matter how important it is that no one knows his real name. Blacking me out of here just because I know it. And making me guard the name stupid messing letter. No way to treat a parrot. I really want a cracker. Two plus you big meanie. Who wins baby time, huh? Score work! Uh, Preeper, Preeper! First time I played this game, I went back and forth from the creepy steeple to the town about six times. Never knowing, never realizing what I was supposed to do because guess what? I skipped dialogue a whole bunch. Anyways, I'm gonna meet you back where do I'm gonna meet you back up at the entrance. Cut. Anyways, guys, we're back, and we're gonna go ahead and end it off here, because this is about 44 minutes of recordings, and I figure, and when this is all uploaded, this will probably be about, like, more 30 minutes or something. Anyways, you guys have a wonderful night, and see you guys then.